Absolutely. Uh, we have already, I have already sued Joe Biden's administration three times now about his out of control environmental policy specifically. Uh, already we've filed suit with regard to the cancellation of the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, that impacts workers right here in Arkansas in the natural states. Uh, pipeline workers from Falk, Arkansas and Ball Knob, Arkansas. These are people that I've had the opportunity to meet with. And not only did it take money out of their pocketbooks, but it also hurt everyday Arkansans. Uh, like my husband, who's a row crop farmer, and it'll cost him more to take his crops to the mill. Uh, this is devastating to Arkansans and Americans. Same thing with the cancellation of allowing new oil and gas leases on federal lands and waters. We joined a lawsuit just this last week against the Biden administration on that. Uh, another lawsuit on the greenhouse gas emissions. All of these lawsuits are because Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and their administration believe that American energy ought to be a hope and a prayer when in fact it needs to be about energy independence, low cost energy, and taking care of Americans, American workers, American jobs, and American families. General Rutledge, a lot of Americans don't realize that in that Biden-Sanders spending bill that he signed a couple of weeks ago, that there was a provision that actually tried to prevent states who were receiving aid from cutting taxes. You're fighting the administration on that as well. Talk to us about that effort. Absolutely. Uh, states should be the ones setting their own tax policies and not have it crammed down their throats by the federal government. But unfortunately, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris and Sanders all want us to uh, adhere to their rules. Well, their rules aren't working for Americans. Uh, we don't want higher taxes. We want states like Arkansas to be able to continue lowering our tax rates, to be able to give tax breaks to hard working Arkansans. We don't want to have uh, the federal government tell holding us you know, hostage by not allowing us to use this money in order to give breaks to hardworking families. Uh, General Rutledge, obviously we're talking a lot about immigration and the crisis at the border. I, I, wanna, I want you to talk to us about the Biden administration's cancellation of Operation Talon and how you and other attorneys general sounded the alarm there. We did, and uh, the state of Texas, I certainly I was a leader in this. Uh, effort because of their proximity to the southern border, but it's imperative that the Biden administration be held accountable. We can't have individuals coming into this country without any sort of information about them. We need to know who is coming into this country. We want immigrants to come to the America. We're the greatest sanctuary the world has ever known. However, we want them to come in the light of day and not the dark of night. Uh, what President Biden and his administration is doing is wiping out all of the efforts that President Trump and his administration did to keep America safe, to ensure that we know who is coming into the United States of America. Uh, Governor, uh, sorry, uh, General Rutledge. That's all right. I, like <laughs> I was just going to talk about it's a that. Natural <laughs> you have announced your candidacy to replace Governor Hutchinson. Uh, as governor, just continuing on immigration, would you prevent the resettlement by the federal government of illegal immigrants in Arkansas? Well, I think that's something uh, we certainly need to consider. Again, it's about the safety of our Kansans and Americans that we want to make sure that those who do need uh, safe places to uh, be away from the oppressors and foreign countries are given that, but at the same time recognizing that we need to know who is coming into our individual states and into our country. So it's something I would be happy to visit with our state legislature about to make sure that we're making the right decision for the state of Arkansas, that we must protect our Kansans and Americans, and we must know who is coming into the United States of America. But you would consider supporting a ban on illegals being resettled by the federal government in, in, in Arkansas borders? Well, I think it's important that we, we leave everything on the table so that we, again, we are making the right decision uh, for the state of Arkansas. What I won't say is that we're going to hardline yes or no, but I will say that, uh, you know, as long as certain parameters are met, then we might consider it. But at this time, mm -hmm. I think it's important that we are taking care of our Kansans. We want people to come to Arkansas, and we want uh, immigrants to, to come to Arkansas. Mm -hmm. uh, a gentleman that uh, works in our building has uh, just got his citizenship after years, and Luis is an amazing gentleman. And that's exactly the pathway that we want people to take is to, to work hard and to get that citizenship. And so if individuals, uh, you know, come to the United States of America legally and 
They, they work hard. We want them to be Arkansans, and we want them to be Americans. Former White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, whose father served as governor of the state, is your principal competition for uh, the gubernatorial primary. Why, uh, General Rutledge, are you the better candidate, and uh, what is your vision for the future of Arkansas? Well, certainly. I've served the last six and a half years as the Attorney General of the great state of Arkansas, making decisions on behalf of three-plus million people every single day uh, that we are not going to be able to keep Arkansas and America safe by merely our words. We must have actions, and we need someone leading the state of Arkansas as the CEO who has experience uh, leading and making decisions. Think about flying a plane. Do you want the pilot or the flight attendant landing that plane? Both jobs are important, but you want the pilot landing the plane. And I'm the only person in this race with the experience landing the planes in the state of Arkansas. We want to make Arkansas first in lowering taxes, make Arkansas first in educational choice, make Arkansas first in manufacturing jobs. All of these things are why I'm running to be the next governor of the state of Arkansas. General Rutledge, uh, it, it, was a, it was natural that uh, former President Trump would endorse Sarah Sanders. After all, she, she worked for him and served his administration. What do you say to, to Trump supporters who, uh, you know, with whom that, that endorsement does carry some weight? Well, certainly, and I, I think it's important for Arkansans to recognize how much I, I supported President Trump's policies, that every time uh, we were defending President Trump and his policies, that I went to the National Convention in 2016 as the only elected official in Arkansas as a Trump delegate, that I was a surrogate for the president in both 2016 and 2020, but I wasn't on his payroll. And so I think it's it was a natural for him to to support my opponent, but however, I supported his policies and did so as the attorney general. When I went to the White House, I wasn't there as an employee. I wasn't there as anything other than a leader from the state of Arkansas, and that we're going to keep doing those things in Arkansas. Uh, we're going to keep uh, putting Arkansas and America first to make sure that, again, that we protect the natural state and Arkansans, that this race is about Arkansas. And we have an incredible uh, campaign thus far. It's going to be a awesome next 400 days until the primary election. And I am in it to win it. And I think it's going to be a